So here's the piece of plow steel that we're working on for our next project. And I, I mentioned to you guys that I would go ahead and try and find out some history on this piece of plow steel. Uh, so, of course, Google got on Google. And uh, I looked up Empire um, Plow Steel. This is, um, it says M-H-C-O dot company in Empire. So I looked up Empire Plow Steel. And it looks like Empire started uh, in Georgia in the mid 1800s or so. Uh, this is certainly not a piece of steel from that early of a time. But in the history, it says that they then moved to, I believe, Pittsburgh and then Ohio. Um, and now they're part of another company um, that's out of Canada. Uh, this piece of steel here, um, I've now cut off a little tab here and I have it in the forge. Uh, cut this little tab out right here. And I've hammered some of it out, but what I'm going to do is hammer it out a little more, then we'll get it back up to temp. Um, and then we'll quench it tonight to try and harden it. And then I'll go straight from there once it gets um, completely cool. And we'll go ahead and put it in the vise. We'll put it in the vise to uh, try and snap it like we did the wheel bearing race. Um, so I'll go ahead and hammer some of that out now and get it a little bit thinner. Again, we're trying to do the same process that we did with the, uh, the wheel bearing race. And let's get it down to a thickness about the thickness of a knife blade, which we're, we're almost there. So. As, you, as you use a rounding hammer, you, you use it with a purpose. Uh, you'll see the steel move as you go through and you'll, sh you'll, you'll pull your steel the way you want it to go. Um, it's kind of how you, how you want to do that. You'll see it move as you go. That's, I've already, I've already flattened it out quite a bit, so let's get it back up to temperature, which will take just a couple minutes, and then we'll, um, then we'll take it through the clinch again and try and snap it. Now here's some pieces that people always ask me, you know, what else are you working on? What else are you working on? Well, this is um, this is sawmill steel uh, that's been cut in strips and then the bevels have been hammered, hand forged out. This is this is ground to shape. Um, but then I hand forge these bevels out, thin them out and set the angles on the bevels on these. And these are going to be two smaller kitchen type knives is what these will be uh, when I get these finished. And both of these will be um, available at Jubilee Fest in September in Daphne. And that's the uh, Daphne, Alabama Jubilee Fest, uh, 23rd and 24th. Don't know what the booth number is right now, but as soon as I get that information, I'll, I'll let all you guys know uh, when that will be. Uh, but it looks like we're pretty much up to temperature now. Now when I did a history check on this, they said that the way they used to harden these plow blades is they're oil quenched and tempered. So that's exactly what we're going to do with this piece of steel. It's going to be oil quenched. So it, it should harden up uh, to make a great knife out of it. So uh, we're going to come over to the oil now. Let's go into a quench here. No flames on this one because it's just above non-magnetic. Just because of the history that I read on it, it said it was an oil quenching steel. And so we're gonna go non-magnetic and then if I need to go above that, like we did the wheel bearing race, then that's what we'll do. But I don't know that we'll need to do that. This is looking pretty good just from the outside of it. You see, I don't know if you guys can see that light gray color on the outside of it. I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but that's kind of an indication that it has taken a it's taken a hardness there. So uh, let's get 
this cool off in this oil a little bit, a little bit more. You certainly don't want to reach down and touch it. And when you're working with your forge or whatnot, you always want to wear good heavy gloves, heavy comfortable gloves, safety eyewear and whatnot. So, especially when you're hammering. All right, now let's take this over here. Cut the forge off there so you can hear what I'm saying now. And we'll get this. It's kind of hard to see out here, guys, because we're doing this at night. But get that in there. Oh, it, it just broke when I closed the vise. Um, so, yeah, it definitely hardened up. You guys probably heard that crack when I closed the vise. It wasn't my vise. Look at there. It broke like glass. So let's come over here in the light where you guys can see and, and I can kind of see what we're looking at here. There you go. So, yeah, it, it definitely hardened up. So we'll be able to continue on and, and make us a knife out of that. I appreciate you guys looking in on these videos and follow along. Thank you much. Bye.